What we're doing today, we've got some draft plans based on all the ideas that all the people who've been involved want to do. And we've got some recycled timber that are going to be planters. Now what we're trying to do is just mark out the space so that everybody can see how it, how it might work. So for example, these we're going to have chunky recycled wood. We're going to have a pergola in the middle. Along the back there'll be more of a wildflower area, area and attracting insects and ladybirds. Um, the area at the front, people would like a, a place where you can sit and chill and maybe have some food and cups of tea. So a bit of a barbecue area. So we've got the local lads there coming to help us out. We're going to be putting fruit trees in today and then we've got some more ideas to do at the front as well. And I thought I'd order some teasels for you, but I can't see any. We have got Erangium, which is kind of similar. You know when I was talking about light birds being able to drop onto them, birds yeah. would drop onto Erangiums as well. If you get some teasels, they would really benefit. This is a free plant that got abandoned by some colleagues of mine. I've, I've um, uh, found it. So yeah, you've got that for yourselves. And I think you've already got some stackers anyway. Yeah, so that's what it should look like, but it's left in our basement. And we've also got some lavenders, some hebes. So lavender and hebe bees absolutely love that. Um, and they turn really beautiful colours. And there's some alliums as well. And of course, some poppies. Ah, and echinacea. Um, that's lovely. And um, bees love these in particular. But they're also, there's some. Um, anyone watch Grow Your Own Drugs? Yeah. BBC. It's great, yeah. isn't it? And there's all sorts of things, um, properties that Echinacea have um, for health. Um, you know, there's all sorts of things going on there with the seed heads and um, things like that. So, I mean, all these plants actually, probably a, a, a huge majority of them, have medicinal benefits. Um, the Vibascum is used in a preparation, I think, was it for years? Yeah. Last night. Um, lavender's great for yeah. getting nice. your sleep, um, it's also good for burns. Rosemary is even better for sleep, really knock you out, blimey. Um, so there's all sorts of things there for you to choose from. What I'd like you to do is grab one or two plants and have a think about where you want to put them.